And have you had a chance to try out the brand new Apple TV? Well, when we come back, we will give you a demo of Apple's newest device. Right now, keeping it local, you're watching Fox 11 News Daybreak. All right, Sasha, thank you very much. If you're a big Apple fan, you may have spent the weekend playing with the new Apple TV. It came out just Friday, and tech expert Andy Taylor is here to give us a little demo. This is a brand new toy. Absolutely brand new. <laughs> yeah, I have uh, the Apple Generation 3, the uh -huh. Apple TV, and I love it. It's great. It does everything it needs to do. Gets to Hulu, gets to Netflix, yes. gets to some of those other options when I need them. This one has said that it can do so much more and yet I'm a little disappointed. Okay. Now I'll tell you, you can get Generation 3 now still for about $69. The Apple TV has two models. The current one, Generation 4, has a 32 gigabyte and a 64 gigabyte model, which is nice. What that means is you can actually download movies, download games, because it does play games, mm -hmm. to the device and store. Now I'm hoping that we'll see more content, more features as the you know, time continues, but right now the game selection was a little spotty. Mm -hmm. It was a driving game. That was actually pretty fun. I thought maybe <laughs> we could have you play that one. Uh, but it does give you the access to Hulu, Netflix, uh, and some of those other channels. Actually, quite a few channels, to be exact. But they are hoping to launch more. Now, one of the features of this is this new Siri-enabled mm -hmm. remote. Now, many people know Siri yep. from the frustration Siri's of trying to use friend. it. <laughs> Siri's your best friend? Yes. She never helps me. <laughs> <laughs> She'll drive me off a cliff if she could. <laughs> But it's a Siri-enabled remote. And what this means is now when you're using your uh, Apple TV, you can press the microphone button and okay. you could say, you know, Siri, take me to Netflix. Now, hopefully, I'm not seeing there. So oh, Siri's not we, available. We don't See, this have is what you were talking yeah. about. Yeah, so <laughs> basically what it would do was open Netflix. And once you're on Netflix, you could say, Siri, find me George Clooney movies or find me Mae West movies. Uh -huh. And it would go ahead and pull those up, hopefully. Yeah. Um, some people have said they've had a little issues with that. And again, it's more of a learning interface. But over time, you'll be able to pick that up. You have a menu button. You can play games when you put it sideways. You can actually use this as a game oh, okay. controller, which is very nice. Um, and again, it does not come with an HDMI cable. But it, you can purchase it for $149 or $199, depending on which one you want. So you're... There, this it's so new they're still bugs. Yeah, I, I, I don't want to call them bugs but there are features that I'm like yeah okay I paid this much more for it you know when you're paying almost a hundred dollars more yeah. for a device you want it to do you so much to more and yeah the remote is nice it's a little bigger but it really to me it, I, I liked what did I open? Connection. <laughs> I like the previous feature of the Generation 3. So we'll just have to see what they continue to add to right, it. We have about 20 seconds. I want to get to the uh, iPhone 6S here. A yes. lot of talk about the, the Force Touch. Force Touch. If you haven't seen this yet, and hopefully you can get a shot of the screen, we'll go to a, um, an icon here. Say we'll go to our, our pictures. And you, if, you, if you click on the Force Touch pictures when they're up, uh, what it'll do is it will give you options with a flyout box. And of course, none of that is, is there you there go. There we go. There's that flyout box. Force Touch is really a great feature of the iPhone 6S or 6S Plus. Uh, faster processor, and you can find them pretty inexpensive now. Very cool. All right, Andy Taylor, thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Thank you. We'll have much more on our website, tucsonnewsnow.com. It is 818. We'll be right back. Stay with us.